I bought this Empire dresser for $80. And when I got home, I realized it was in terrible shape. It smelled of smoke and the veneer was majorly damaged everywhere. Anyway, I bought this thing over three years ago and slowly worked on it as I had motivation to. Last year, I removed the veneer from most of the drawers, filled in the other chips, sprayed everything inside and out with a couple of coats of clear shellac to seal the smoke smell and found this little love note that someone tried to paint over. And I took apart some of the drawers. Then I lost steam and put it away until just recently. Then I cut new wood for the drawer bottoms and put the drawers back together. Attached the top to the dresser and filled in some of the damage with Bondo. It was all so much work and I wanted to give up multiple times, but I also didn't want it to go to the landfill. So here we are. Then I mixed a few milk paint colors together and added water to it to turn it into paint. This paint is known to create a chippy look if you don't paint it on raw wood. And I didn't really want it to chip this time, so I mixed some extra bond stuff that smells like Elmer's glue into it. And then I painted it onto the dresser with a round zebra paintbrush. When painting milk paint, I like to brush it on and then I try to go back over in long brush strokes. Milk paint can have a lot of variation, so going back over it with long brush strokes helps minimize the variations in the pigments. This first coat went on super thin, but the second coat should have full coverage or almost full coverage. When I came back to it the next day, there were two places where the veneer was lifting, so I chipped those off and filled them with wood filler. And I mixed up another batch of paint and painted on another coat on everything to make sure that it was all the same color. I ended up having to remove the veneer off the front of the top and repaint that whole section because the paint kept making the veneer chip. Then I replaced the missing drawer stops and sanded all of the paint smooth and waxed it to seal the porous paint. And then I added new hardware and put on some keyhole covers. And here is what it looks like now. It's rustic and totally gives a nod to its history, right? Honestly, at this point, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep it this way. I kind of almost want to repaint it. I feel like there's too many variations in the milk paint. I typically love the look of milk paint, but I don't know, I'm not feeling this one as much. What do you think? Would you ever use milk paint on your furniture projects? Do you think I should repaint this? Let me know in the comments. Are you confused and not sure where to start with your furniture makeover? Don't worry, I got your back. Click the link in my comment to download our free painting checklist so you can paint your furniture as if you hired a professional to do it.